Nice. All right. Boom. Oh, yeah, we got that. Thank you. Craig, Craig, you see that? Starbuck in 170th. 172nd. Got it. Can run into debt. Oh, come on. He's, she's hurt. Copy. They carjacked this car at gunpoint, and uh, he's armed. Okay, we're going to try to stay with it. Yeah, I see him. I'm on him. 172nd Starbuck. Okay. They were in the silver Kia at the beginning, and then they pulled over and carjacked this blue tundra, brown tundra, uh, at gunpoint per TV9, and uh, this guy is armed and running around here. Okay. You talk to her because I'm not. I'm not going to deal with her anymore. Yeah, I got you. Um, I'm following the, the mail. All right, running back to the black and white. Everybody's going to take the black and white. Got him. Hey, is your desk telling them? Obviously, they don't know. Hey, desk, if that is CHP, yet? Hey, Craig, are you watching this? And I'm off your left. Hey, Craig, he just stole the police car. All right. All right, got it. Hey, Craig, you're uh, wrapping that uh, video, right? They're telling you to climb. I'm still behind you, nine. I lost him on out the window. Oh, there he is. Got him now. Okay. I'm going to lay the foundation, then I'll get to it. Oh! Two minutes to show, two minutes to show. And if you're watching on KTLA.com, this is Sky Fi with Tim Lent out over Rosemont following a stolen CHP officer's uh, CHP vehicle. Uh, get ready to go on Channel 5 and here on KTLA.com. He's going to roll this thing.
Man, it's so far, just hard to see him out the window. Okay, I got, I got dust, I don't have him. Oh, he's in the weeds, okay. Damn. One minute. Now oh, he's coming up to our wash here. One six second. Hey, Maury's coming up to the solar panels east of the wind farm. How that? Uh, now, Sherry, you're looking at this CHP unit. Now, this this all started with a pursuit. I can't hear IFB. Did they lose us? And uh, share up. We're barely hearing you on the IFB, but we're following a stolen CHP vehicle. We're near uh, Avenue uh, 162 out in the desert here, up near Rosamond in the far north end of the Antelope Valley. This all started off with a pursuit with the uh, LA County Sheriff's of a robbery suspect. He was in a silver Kia, and then uh, uh, after he ran from them, he got away from the sheriffs and then carjacked a, a Tundra. And if we go to some video we shot earlier as we came overhead, he got into that Tundra, then took off and raced across the uh, avenue of the uh, Rosamont Avenue to the west, and when he turned up into the desert, he crashed that tundra and then uh, lost control and went up into the, uh, the the field, hurting his female passenger. He got out on foot, and as we have some more video here, got out on foot, was running around, and ended up getting into the CHP car of the vehicle of the CHP officer that was following him, and it was in foot pursuit. He just did a big loop and was able to get back and take the CHP's uh, car, and now we're uh, way out here in the north end of the valley. You see him just here on the live uh, side of this. You can see him making his way uh, in the uh, dirt roads up here, right off uh, 140th is what we're hearing now. He's way up in the hills. So it's just all dirt roads up in the valley here. So he's just kind of working his way along. He's been spinning out uh, in his CHP car. There are no ground units around him, anywhere near him. In fact, I don't think they know where he's at. But we are, uh, uh, the media ship up here, uh, we're both working with the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's helicopter to uh, direct that helicopter in on this guy. So hopefully we can uh, get an eye on him uh, with the uh, the uh, uh, L.A. County Sheriff's helicopter, which is not more than about five miles away. And uh, another media helicopter I'm listening to is trying to direct him into it. We're, we're back now westbound, uh, right about Avenue 162, but we're in the desert, so we're nowhere near any marked roads. And if uh, people are familiar with the Antelope Valley out here on the west side, it's where the big ant, uh, windmill farm is out here on the west side of uh, Rosamont and right about uh, Avenue 172 is where he, he turned off Rosamont. And so we're continuing on here westbound uh, back to the, uh, in through the desert here. And you see him just bottoming out as he works along. So yeah, he's been hit really hard here a few times, spinning out and getting into the, uh, in the uh, desert and really pushing this uh, uh, vehicle along. So he's been really uh, pounding that car. So eventually he's gonna run out of road here. Looks like going some whoop de doos here, turn it down to the uh, down to the east now. So the sun's behind him. So he's moving east again. And as we come around, uh, okay, as I come around here, I gotta watch for the other media helicopters that come around. But we're way up here at 6,000 feet to keep uh, out of their way and also to get our signal back in. So he's back, back now eastbound in the uh, in the desert here. It looks like he might have uh, bottomed out, but 
like I said, this started about a half an hour ago with the uh, uh, Antelope Valley C or Antelope Valley uh, Sheriff's, uh, I believe it was the uh, Lancaster office, in pursuit of him uh, for robbery. And during that pursuit, they lost him. He was able to carjack a car, and now he's uh, after getting crashing that car, the Tundra. He's now stolen the CHP unit, and so right now he's just stopped in the desert out here. Uh, uh, I would say uh, about three miles north of Rosamont Avenue and probably right in line with about 162. So that shows you how far out in the desert we are. We're working our way back to him. And like I said, uh, telling you what's going on here, I'm listening to another media helicopter direct that Sheriff's Air 29 in on this pursuit, but uh, really tough to direct him in because there's no landmarks to give the uh, helicopter where he's at. And right now I can't see him out the window. We're, just following him on the camera. Colton Von Perch doing a great job with a camera from this high to keep track of him. But right now uh, he's working his way uh, now northbound again. As you can see that vehicle there, it's off to his right. So that shows he's northbound. It's the only way I'm, I'm staying too uh, oriented with him because he's so deep in the desert here that we're going to keep an eye on him. And he's probably going to end up bottoming this thing out, uh, trying to push it through the desert. And uh, hopefully, uh, uh, it'll just uh, go ahead and uh, bottom out and have to get out on foot, then we'll be able to uh, get the air unit on it. But that air unit is in the area working really hard to figure out exactly where this guy is. So right now, uh, there's kind of push into the desert, this stolen CHP car. He is armed. Uh, they did confirm that he did have a weapon, and uh, he was seen with that weapon carjacking the Tundra that he crashed in the desert. So as you can see right now, he's pushing through the the brush here off the road, just off-roading with this vehicle. Okay, he's by a building. Okay, I got IFB back. I'm up at 7,009. Up at And Craig, I hear everybody. There's a unit right ahead of him. Why is he not chasing him? Five's up at 7,000. Mike, I'm back. Well, as you saw right there, he just passed those two uh, units there on the dirt road. They're right behind him right now. And uh, there's also a sheriff's helicopter overhead, so he's not going to get away at this point. You see the speed picking up very quickly here as he moves along. And with that on this dirt road, he's going to find a dip up here and bottom this thing out. But uh, right now, it's still continuing here southbound back towards Rosamont uh, Avenue. But he's on the brakes here at a Y. Let's see what he does here. Uh, these are all dirt roads out here. I'm um, up at 7,000 feet. Yeah, well, basically, they're just going to try to box him in. I don't, the spike stripping out here is going to be a little tough. And I could say 
they're uh, they're out in the middle of the desert, so there's no idea uh, the streets or the roads or the dirt roads where he's going to go. Uh, he went right by a unit that was standing outside of his unit as he drove by, and they know he is armed, so he's just really ripping along here. Uh, and the thing is, being able to stop him is uh, you're not going to be able to pit him out here. Uh, maybe a spike strip if they get a tactical ram out here because it's a CH. Uh, they may just decide to do a tactical ram to stop him uh, because they're, they don't shoot it onto a regular street. We see him just bouncing right here, hard through this dirt road. But we're heading out here as he comes around uh, on the dirt road with those three units down back behind him. And as we work our way around, I'm just using the camera here to try to stay with him. So uh, forgive me if I lose the signal here for a bit as I make a turn because I don't want to get away too far away from him. Because uh, Colton is having a real hard time staying with him, but he's doing a great job. But you can see he's just blasted through the desert uh, with those three units behind him. And about the only thing they can do, like I said, is either block a road, but he goes through the desert if you do that. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. And five is all the way up to 75. Oh, absolutely. Well, I guarantee you all of Antelope Valley, uh, both the offices of uh, the sheriffs are up this, coming up this way. Their helicopter is overhead making uh, position reports, as well as we got, uh, I'm looking back to see if there's any units behind him. I don't see any units. Well, yeah, there are other couple of units in trail by about a half a mile. The only reason I can see him is by the dust trails. But he's heading now southbound through the uh, solar panel uh, areas out here. There's some population out here as well. Looks like he's getting on some hard packed dirt and probably in about another couple miles, he'll have Rosamond Avenue again. And uh, right now, it's just a, a matter of staying with him. The air unit's gonna stay overhead and keep track of him. But like I was trying to explain on a tactical ram, I, most departments will not do that except in stre extreme conditions. Uh, and the thing, of course, is they just basically sacrifice a unit to try to ram and spin him out or just stop him. Uh, but, uh, on, they're unable to do that, but they'll get him on a turn or get him somewhere where they'll just bury a unit into the door and try to drive him uh, out of the desert, then pin him. But right now, he's coming southbound on this dirt road here. It's a little hard pack area, and it's going to put him onto a uh, Rosamont. I believe this is going to be Rosamont. He's going to be coming up here, too, at about another quarter mile, and that is a, a paved road that runs east-west through the north end of the Antelope Valley. And once he gets on that, it's going to be quick. Now, hopefully, there's a unit down here. I see a car stopped. Hopefully, that unit's waiting for him uh, to throw a spike strip. Uh, not really sure that's a police car. I'm so high up. But there's a unit parked right at the intersection he's coming up to. He's on the brakes, slowing down. Looks like he's going to go off in the desert. And this is what he's done before to get away from units that are waiting for him. And there he goes into the desert, westbound. Going to pick up westbound Rosamond as he goes under those wires right there. And hopefully he gets just stuck on the berm. Ah, great. There you go. Perfect. Got himself stuck. And now he's coming out. Here comes the unit. And uh, on foot, going to run. run ah, he's going to give up. You see right there, it's a Ventura County Sheriff. Because they were alerted to this pursuit as well because it was heading up that way. You see this Ventura County Sheriff. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Kern County Sheriff on him. Uh, holding him at. Yeah, you see the CHP units now arriving. The white cars are the Recurrent County sheriffs. They were coming to uh, north into Kern County at one point. And so 